today we're going to talk about posture uh, because why posture is very important be it at work if you want to uh, play with your new kid uh, if you're a new mom or if you're a caregiver for a loved one okay and even at work because if you are going to do a presentation you need to convey confidence or you need to build rapport in the shorter time a good posture goes a long way so today we're going to understand how our spine works we're also going to look at how it impacts our organs and we're going to look at what is a optimal posture in standing and sitting okay so this is just some disclaimer now let's take a look at our spine right we are not made like one piece of flat uh, plank okay the reason is because when we are curved right we can handle more stress just like a bowl so if you take a look at the neck and the which is vertical, and then the back, the lumbar area, this is what we call a logosis. If you look at the thoracic spine and the pelvis, there is the sacrum is, this is the kyphosis. So the direction of the bend has different names. Now, why is it so important though to have a good curvature? Now, C stands for cervical, T means thoracic, L is lumbar. So let's take a look at from the top. If you take a look, this is where our swallowing occurs. Right? So any problem with the cervical spine will affect the swallowing. If you start moving downwards, you'll find the A. This is where the lungs are. So if someone is slouched, be it in sitting or in lying down, they won't be able to take a deep breath. This is especially very important for people with lung conditions or elderly who is prone to pneumonia. Now, if our lungs is not working very well, our heart has to work harder to compensate. If you take a look at the diaphragm, which is this thin red line over here, without a good posture, our diaphragm will not function properly and this will affect how much our lungs can expand. Next, we move downwards. This is where our liver and our stomach, intestine, small and large, are. So, right next to our entire spine, it can be our foot pipe, okay? It can be our wing pipe, it will all be affected with foot posture. And also, there will be like abdominal artery, okay? If there is anything wrong with your lumbar area, you may or may not pierce the abdominal artery. Some are patient test. Okay. Okay. Now, if we look at our cervical, upper cervical area, this will affect how patent our airway is. If it is narrow, there is little blood oxygen going to our brain that can result in apnea. This can result in higher risk of a stroke or heart arrhythmia. Okay. And if we look downwards, this is where our lumbar is with, uh, linked to our sacrum. Once again, if you can take a look at posture of the pelvis, will have impact on the pelvic floor muscles, whether or not it's too loose, it may or may not. Uh, affect your internal organs. So that is a very common problem. The pelvic floor muscles are not strong enough. The question is, is our posture promoting a strong pelvic floor muscle contraction? Okay. Now, um, then this question is, okay, so what is a good posture? Please think in it. I'm not saying there's a perfect posture. Because all of us are different. But in general, if I were to draw a line of gravity, this is where the ear tip should meet the middle of your shoulder tip. And then it will go slightly behind your hip joint. And to your knee joint, and to your calcium, which is the heel bone. Now, this kind of posture, it should be in standing and in sitting as well. Okay, now, if you can do this, Simple experiment with me. 
So you have two legs firmly on the floor, flat. And next thing is adjust your feet height until your knee is at 90 degrees. Okay, as well as at your hip. There should be a two inch gap behind your knee for comfort. If your back is not supported at the backrest, this is where you can use a towel, a pillow, to fill in that gap at your lumbar spine so that you restore that lordal cyst. Next, we're going to align our shoulder and your ears together in one line. By now, you should start to adjust your screen to be within 30 cm from your eye. If you can't, you probably need to prop up your computer screen. Or if you're using a laptop, you probably need a separate keyboard. At uh, e-commerce, you can buy a lot of uh, scan for your monitor. Okay. Now, once we set this up, next thing we're going to do is to let your arm rest against your trunk so that your elbow falls at 90 degrees. Where your palm is, that should be where your keyboard and your mouse is. Okay. Now, take a look at the wrist area. It should be relatively flat, not extended, not flat. So be careful when you have keyboard that has a stand like this. Okay. Now, common problems. All right. If you have pain at where the red colored regions are, people are in neck pain, or if you have carpal tunnel, this is the time that you should help. A lot of times it's about posture. Okay, so don't hesitate today. Keep an appointment with your therapist. All right. So that's it for today.